Hello, welcome to the video to learn how to prepare the qualified business income deduction worksheets in a return using interview forms. The Section 199A, Qualified Business Income Deduction or QBID, worksheets are generated in returns using the QBI interview forms and business income entered throughout the return. It can also be generated using pass-through K1 inputs. In this demonstration, we'll generate the QBID worksheets in a 1040 individual return with a Schedule C business and an IRS K1 1065 pass-through entity that have already been entered in the return. Note that although we are using a 1040 return for this video, the process will be similar in the other return types as well. To begin, go to Interview Form QBI1. In Box 40, Entity Type, use the Lookup feature or double-click. To select the appropriate type, for this Schedule C, I'll select Code TB for Trade or Business, and click OK. In Box 41, Entity Number, enter the number for the schedule being linked. In Box 42, Qualified Option, use the Lookup feature. To indicate Qualified or Specified Service, then click OK. With these inputs, the QBID worksheet will generate for our Schedule C. In the remaining boxes, you can enter more information or any overrides needed. Next, we'll generate the QBID for the partnership pass-through. Go to the IRSK 11065 and scroll down to line 20Z, located in boxes 965 through 973, and enter applicable information. And then calculate the return. Next, to see the worksheets, go to the Federal Government tab and open QBID 199A. Here we can see the various worksheets related to the Qualified Business Income Deduction. In the QBID Service Worksheet, we can see the calculation for the items entered as service activities. In the QBID Worksheet, we can see the amounts calculated from the Service Worksheet, and if we scroll down to the next activity, we'll see the activities coded as Qualified. In NetQBI, a list of the activities with qualified business income and the portion allocated to QBI are shown. And in QBID Summary, we can see the calculation for the qualified business income deduction that will carry to the 1040. Lastly, on Form 1040, in Line 9, we can now see the amount calculated from the QBID Summary is flowing as expected. Thank you for watching the video to learn how to prepare the Qualified Business Income Deduction Worksheets.